we're going to create a couple of solids here. So go to new and we're going to start with a brand new definition. Now the first way to create a solid is to simply create a surface and thicken it, which I showed you in an earlier exercise where we did the perforated panel. That was one place where I showed it to you. And then we were doing polygons. I showed how to thicken the surface there. So I'm not going to repeat that here, but that is one way of generating a solid. The other way is to generate a solid by loft. We've done surfaces by loft, but we haven't actually done solids by loft yet. So it's a very similar process. We're gonna start with points, just like we almost always do. So we're gonna say point by coordinate, x, y, z. And then one of these points, we need a z of 20. The x and the y is zero. So that's all we need for that. And then the other point is going to be just at zero. So raise that up, take the Z off. And so now I have a point at zero and I have a point up at 20. And now we're gonna create a circle at this bottom point. So I'm gonna say circle by center point and radius. And then we'll plug that in to our center point and our radius, we're gonna make that 15. And then we get a large circle. And then I'm gonna create a polygon from that. And it's polygon, regular polygon. And number of sides, let's say six. Plug that into number of sides and then plug that into the circle. And then we get a hexagon. So that's gonna be one side of this solid that we're going to create. The other part is gonna come from down here and we're just gonna do a simple circle. And so I'm just gonna copy these two nodes, Control C, Control V, and then I'm gonna change it to 10. And then I'm going to have the center point go from the point that's up here at 20. So now I've got a circle at the top and I've got a polygon down here at the bottom. And I'm just gonna blend those two things together. We're just gonna do a loft. We're gonna create a list of those two items. So list create and two items. So we plug the polygon into one and the circle into the other. And at this point, the only difference between creating a surface of this and creating a solid is instead of saying creating surface by loft, we're gonna say create solid by loft. But other than that, it's effectively the same procedure. And when I do that, you can see that it creates a solid form. Now, if I hit escape and kind of spin this around, you can see it's not a surface. It is a solid piece of geometry. So you can create solids by loft, by thickening a surface. And then the third way that we can do it is if I shift this out of the way, move it over to the side, I'll create a second definition right here where this one is. And in this case, we're going to create a curve and we're going to extrude that curve as a solid. So the first thing we need to do is establish a curve. So in this case, we need some points. So I'm going to say point by coordinate and we'll move this over here. And we're actually going to need two of these. And for the first one, I want to place the points for this at 50, and that's going to be for the X and the Y. Okay, so our point is way over there, so let's turn this thing around. And then the second point is going to, using a code block, be 60 and then a second line of 40, and that's going to be the X and the Y. So it's right there. And the Z is going to be 20. So now we have these two points that are on different places right there. So we take those two and we're going to create a circle on one of them. And then we're going to use the other point as effectively a vector and then create a solid between those two. So the first one we're going to do is using this point here, we're going to create a circle. So circle by center point and radius. And then we plug the center point into there and the radius uses a code block 10 and plug that into radius. So there it is right there in the very corner of the screen. 
For this point up here, these two points, as you can see right here, if you drew a line between them, it would represent a line or it could represent a vector. And so with these two points, I want to represent that as a vector. And so to do that, we use a node called vector by two points, which is this. And so the start of the vector is going to be this center point here. And then the end of the vector is going to be the point coming from here. When I do that, nothing actually changes because it, vector is a direction. It's not visual. But now that I have a shape and a vector, I can then use effectively that vector as a curve. And the node for that is called curve extrude as solid. So in this case, the curve is actually the circle, and the distance is this vector. And then you can see it extrudes that circle along that vector or between the two points. And so that's another way of generating a solid within Dynamo.